good afternoon. Hopefully this little video will give you an insight into hazel coppice, which is woodland that gets cut down every seven years to produce all kinds of materials. We've been doing this since the Neolithic era, and it's still relevant today because we still need materials for thatching, for hedge laying, for fencing, for restoring riverbanks and wetlands. So it's really important to keep this going. It's also important to me that it's not reliant on grants because that's just at the whim of politicians. So we need to be sustainable in order to survive. We need to sell the materials. We can't rely on volunteers. We need to have this as a profession that's recognized, that is known about so that we get new people coming into it. Cause I've had a guy helping me. He was 20 years younger than me and he was struggling cause it is hard work and it's very boring to be honest, but hopefully I'm encouraging. I have encouraged people over the years to do this. I do teach hedge laying and coppicing and this sort of thing. But basically I want to make the point that we need to sell what we make and we need to keep working the wood to keep it sustainable. This wood isn't very good quality, to be honest, but we can still make loads of stuff out of it. One of the things that I've been making out of this wood is faggots. These are bundles of brushwood, as you can see, two meters by 300 millimeters. They get built to riverbanks and all kinds of wetland restoration projects need faggots. They trap the silt, they alter the flow of the rivers, they create more biodiversity and it's also great for managing floods uh, and there's a great demand at the moment which is brilliant because it's a byproduct and it's completely sustainable and it's wood that would otherwise have to be burned as you can see there is a fire going in the background I do burn the tops the very ends of the faggots when I cut it off with the chainsaw so there's very little wastage I think I use about 95% of what I cut the wood is left clear as you can see stools are cut very low and it's left clear so that the wood gets a chance to grow back nice and straight um, any brambles aren't great because they will smother the new growth so they get cut about after about two years or so by the woodman which is brilliant so the idea is to keep the woods going and keep it sustainable these woods have been surveyed by ecologists. There are butterflies in here that you don't get anywhere else in Britain, basically. David Attenborough's been to have a look around these woods years ago, so that tells you how important they are for biodiversity. And to me, the most important thing is that we keep doing this and we teach people about it because if we didn't manage these woodlands, they would grow dark and you wouldn't get the same ground flora, you wouldn't get the same insects, you wouldn't get the same wildlife that rely on all of that. Um, and so many of our woodlands have been neglected and they've gone dark and they're no longer commercially viable. So then grants have to be used to get it back into rotation. But it's not as simple as that because when the woods grow again after they've been left overstood, the wood doesn't grow back to the same quality and it takes a few rotations of cutting to get the materials that you need. And this is the important thing, to make it commercially viable, people have got to make money out of it and you can't rely on grants. So I think it's really important that people know this and they know that coppicing is a way to make a living. It's hard work and it is boring and monotonous, but what a fantastic place to work, even though it's just raining and there's hailstones coming in right now, it's still a good place to be. I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.